Thought it was something a bit different. I've taken its cavities off just to see how it runs on its own. Well, this is it. Stevenson's Rocket Royal Mail Pack. Let's get it open and see what we find inside. Oh, look at this, same before. At least it's got this bubble wrap on it. At least there's some protection there. Paperwork there, more paperwork there. This is looking good. Rocket Allen MR Stevenson's Rocket Mail Coach. There we have it there. Hornby Rocket L and MR Stevenson's Rocket Mail Coach. Double O gauge train pack. So we've got the rocket there, we've got a first class there, third class there, and the Royal Mail Coach down at the bottom. I won't read all of that, but I'll read a bit of it. Rocket was designed and built by a direct response to the invention to the Rain Hill trials issued by the directors of the Liverpool and Manchester Railways L and MR on April the 25th 1829 for a locomotive engine which shall be a decided improvement on any certain stipulations and conditions. Let's get her out. It's very light. Let me see what we've, oh, we've got. Looks like we've got, I think that's driver there. We've got a man with a shovel there. And I think we've got extra couplings in here. Oh no, there's a man sitting down. I suppose he's riding on the Royal Mail coach. He's probably the postman, I presume. Maybe, perhaps. Oh, and these are the couplings here. So this one comes with three men, okay. So there's holes in the back, so you can carefully push them out. It's a very delicate model. I think this is a 220. That's a big piston wheel at the front. So you can see the piston just there. You can just make out the word rocket on there. Well, I think that's where you can, I think you can put a, a chip in there. I think you can. I won't force it open, but I think that's where you put a small chip. And these are the carriages. You can see the wheel spin really cool, quite well. You've got the luggage compartment on top. Liverpool, Manchester. I think that there's a space for somebody to sit there, maybe. This is a third class carriage. Basically a wagon, which has been painted nicely. Got three doors per side. And all you do, you stand in the middle, well not in the middle, but you stand in these three compartments and there's no seating. I mean, it's okay for a nice hot sunny day like today, but if it's windy, cold, wet and raining, <laughs> You've got no protection whatsoever. Well, unless you, I mean, if it's a bit windy and you're, you can sit down inside, but if it's raining, you're still going to get wet. And that's the Royal Mail coach there. Now you notice, basically, the only thing, well, I think this is all they've done, look between all three of them, so the base is, all well, this is like a flatbed wagon, and all they've done is with this one, they've added a first class carriage on top. This one they've added the, the side panels to this one and all they've done is stuck the Royal Mail coach onto this one because the, like the, the actual base bit, main part of it is, is the same. And you can see where the buffers go all the way to the back. Well, not to the back, but half about you know, about halfway in or something. You can see, look at the buffer rods going. So they're all, all the same, you see. They've even got the uh, steps all in the right place. It's like the same place in all of them. The actual base is all the same. It's just, Wondering well, what makes a difference, what they stuck on top of it. Let's put this up close and personal. This is what it would have looked like. I tried to put the driver on, but they're very difficult to fit in, and also the uh, digger man, both kind of all over there. I'll put three people in the third class carriage just to show you what it would look like there. Like, I've got to stand because there's no seating, and then I've also put a, I don't know what you want to call him, the guard, the postman the oil mail coach. I presume that's a little parcel just on top there. I think you can see some detail there. You've got the, the hold, I'm not sure what you want to call these bits. The strengtheners, the holders for going from the chimney, going down just to hold it up straight. There's, as I said earlier, the pistons just there. And there's some good detailing there. To see some black markings around the wooden bit there. It's about seeing it say rocket just there. And then you've got 
this little stop a bit here so I can put bags on top without them falling off I suppose just like on this one here I think these are these little black bits here are air vents so they don't get too hot in the so I can like open and close them and I think again there's a little I think that's a little seat or where they can stand so basically when they first invented the steam locomotive the carriages were you know when they had like horse and cart they just basically took the cartwheels off carts if you like and then had the train wheels that's all they've done really basically and that's why it looks like a like these carriages look like horse and cart type things let's have a quick look at the paperwork and then we'll take it down to the, my yeah, test track. rocket 022 steam locomotive and tender operating and maintenance instructions i think it's just the usual thing running hints routine maintenance lubrication how to fit the figures see that's the one see, that's the one for the that's a, like the driver got a very small hole on, on his foot there's like a very small thin peg and same for the digger man it's a very small hole for on the tender and there you go I, I, was, I was right see on the tender there's a fit of or maybe it's a six pin anyway and then on the back the usual spare parts talking spare parts got this other sheet with with me list of spares motor worm piston assembly so it's all like broken down all the different bits and pieces you can get for it i suppose and on the back more spare parts and there's both the same on both sides by the looks of it list of spares but it's both the same yeah both the same on both sides so let's go bring it down my test track now. Okay, I'm now on my test track. I'm going to slowly bring it forward. Okay, that's forward. Bring it backwards. Can't go too fast. Wall buffers. Bring it forward. Oh, someone's fallen off. Oh, I think it's the uh, postman at the back. He's fallen off. Yep, he's fallen off. Bring it back. Can't go too fast. Don't know how well you can see this, but I think I've got a photo of these couplings. You just about to see that. You just got to touch these couplings very slightly, and they come off. Got a very small hole. Very. Like there's a very small pin, like about one millimeter thick. What the? So there's. So you can see the hole at the end of that. Just about to see that hole, and it's about. Maybe one, maybe two millimetres these pins have got to fit onto. So it's very delicate. I think I've got a photo. If I can find that photo, I'll show you it. I can't go too fast because it's only about two and a half metres long or something this uh, track. Okay, I think you get the idea on the test track. Let's very carefully now take it upstairs to my main layout, see how well the rocket goes around my main layout. On my main circuit now, let's give it a slow run and see what happens. Past the station, around the curve, up. Maybe I'll give it a bit more juice, perhaps.
across the bridge, around the corner, through the sidings. Under through the engine shed. Well, some parts of it, it's okay. Let's stop it in the engine shed. Oh, let's do one more lap then. Thought this was a bit different. I've taken its carriages off just to see how it runs on its own. Well, you get the idea. World famous rocket on my main lane. 
in a way. I hope you like my little review. Thank you for watching. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.